Hello, everybody. Tal here. And today I am going to be talking about very relevant issues to our current experience with everything that is happening right now in America and in the world at large. Specifically, I want to talk about our freedoms, our experience of freedom in our life right now. I know that for many of us, we sense that our freedom is being restricted, whether we agree with the reasons or not. That is our experience. We can no longer go everywhere we want, do anything we want, whenever we want, can't go abroad. You know, there are lots and lots of restrictions on our external behavior. And also we've been feeling that there are more restrictions on what we are allowed to say on social media and what we aren't allowed. So in general, life is becoming more and more restrictive. So let's talk about what we can learn from this on a spiritual level. Stay tuned. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Choosing to Connect, the place to love your life by living from love. I fully believe it's possible to love our life right now, despite everything that's happening, despite all the seemingly chaotic events, the unstableness, the restrictions that I'm talking about here. It is possible if we have the right perspective, if we understand what's going on and what we can do about it to take the darkness, take the negative and flip it around, use it to advance ourselves forward spiritually in our conscious evolution as a humanity towards our next stages of evolution. So we're talking about freedom. We're talking about our current experience of not having enough of that freedom, not as much as we, we thought we did before, right? We, we used to think that we we're free. Why am I saying that we used to think so? because you could say we were free, right? We could do anything. The world was our oyster. We, you could just go anywhere you wanted, almost you could fly to almost any place on earth and you could do anything you wanted. But we thought we were free. And in many ways, we were not. We were not free in the sense that we were thinking what society was telling us to think, or um, I would say even marketing to us and feeling what we were told we should think, we should feel, what we were influenced to feel by our societies, by our cultures. We were also, basically, I would say it all comes down to our perceptions, right? Our perspective, our perception is what determines whether we are free or not. If we have a materialistic perspective of life, then we are chained to this material reality. The more that we can rise above this material perspective into higher levels of consciousness, we become free of materialistic limitations, and that is where we're headed. So a bit more on that in a moment. But first, I want to talk about how right now, our so-called freedoms, which we thought we had, right, to roam around the matrix as, as much as we want, are being more and more limited. And I believe that this is no coincidence. It's part of our birthing pains into this new world, the new earth, the higher levels of consciousness, the more we feel restricted within the matrix, within this material perspective of reality, perception of reality, the more we feel like we want to break out of it. Now, I remember when I was in my early 20s, I was going through an illness and I had to receive treatments. And so I found myself tied to a pole, getting the chemotherapy for days at a time. And I felt so trapped by that because I was in the hospital. I hated being there. I hated being in those treatments and I just couldn't leave. So this feeling of being trapped, also being trapped within a body that did not feel safe, really made me feel like I wanted to escape, except there was nowhere to escape to on the external level, right? I could leave the treatments, but that was really no option. The only place I felt I could run to was my inner life, my perception of life. I sensed that that was the only thing I could change in a reality that was completely restricting me, completely restricting my material existence. I knew that if I could change my internal life, if I could change my perception, then that is where I would find my true freedom. And that is what led me on my spiritual path and to find the answers that I was seeking and 
it did indeed turn out to be the answer. So I believe that we all are now being given that feeling, that experience of being trapped in a material reality where we are not free to do as we want. We, we're not comfortable. We're being limited in all kinds of ways. Some of, that, some of us feel this more, some of us feel this less. But I want us to remember that it's this matrix, it's this limited material reality that is feeling more pressureful right now, kind of like a baby, you know, towards the end of the pregnancy feels like it's so tight in there and that in his mother's womb that they really want to come out. And so we feeling more and more restricted, pressured by everything that is going on, need to come out of our current place, which has become too dark and, and, and tight into a new expansive world that we've never been to before. A whole new perception of reality that is waiting for us. So if you've been watching my channel, if you've seen my other videos, you probably know what this new world is, what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about a material world, though it will have, you know, our, our internal change will have external um, results as well. But I'm talking about a change in consciousness. We need to really want to come out of this really restrictive place. And this is where our conscious evolution really happens. And it happens through our desire, through our wanting, through our, you know, they call it prayer, but really we pray all the time. Prayer is really just our desire. It's what we ask for internally, even without words. The universe is constantly perceiving what we want, or it's really constantly listening to what we want and vibrating on the level of our own desire. So as we attune our desire to something new, to something different, wanting to break out of the limitations that we experience on this level, it's like we're breaking through to higher frequencies that are the answer to our prayer, the answer to our desire to break free. So the more that we can take all of these negative experiences and use them to let that desire grow within us, that prayer to really ripen within our hearts, to discover a new way of being, a, a consciousness, a reality that is free of all shackles, free of all limitations, free of all egoism and, and corruption and mistrust and, and division and all of the things that we're currently discovering in our world that is falling apart, right? This matrix that is falling apart before our eyes. The more that we want something better than that, we want to feel trust in reality, in our life. We want to feel trust in others. We want to feel that there is some sort of order, that there is some sort of meaning, that there is purpose, that there is even, you know, the ba most basic safety and, and a safe future for, our, for us and our children. The more we desire that, the more we'll be able to draw that from the universe. And the way that it will come is through our own change in consciousness. Reality won't change until we change. And all of these pressures aim to help us do that, to help us shift, to help us make this leap. So if we want to quicken the process, we just need to seek it. We need to ask the questions. We, we need to discern what it is that we truly want. And when we understand that this new level of consciousness is all about unity, it's all about connection. It's all about loving others and feeling that we're connected as one in one network, which by the way, is an interesting fact that, you know, there's the social networks right now that some people are leaving because they can't express themselves freely. Um, we should know that there is also an internal network, a natural network that connects us, where if we become more sensitive to it, we can begin to connect share love, share our intention, share our, uh, our personal expression in a spiritual way freely. And all 7 billion people are part of this network. And that is what we need to discover, this higher level of consciousness where we're all connected, we're, we're all constantly influencing each other and are being influenced by each other. And it's like nature is pushing us out of the physical form 
that we're discovering is completely misaligned to our highest benefit, to our good, and shifting us out of there into the natural state, the positive, unified, higher consciousness state that nature wants to bring us into, that we need to evolve into. So I know things seem really scary right now and uncertain, but as I always say, it's all part of the plan. And if we can talk about it and discuss how we can consciously move forward, then we shift reality to more positive and more easy and more smooth path, a more smooth path and more smooth results uh, in our external reality, because we are shifting consciously from within. And that is all nature really wants of us. You know, it, it's like um, birth. If the baby turns around willingly, if the baby does what it needs to do and starts moving in the right direction, then the birth happens smoothly. The birth happens easily. And so as we do this together, we will see that nature aligns with us. We, we align with nature and, and, and things will begin to unravel much more smoothly and much more positively. Um, we need to experience things falling apart. We need to experience the old world, the old ways, egoism, corruption, um, self-interest at the expense of the whole. We need to see all of that fall away. And we need to see that change also happen within us. We also need, each of us also need to be willing to see our own egoism, our own divisiveness, our own judgments, of others and be willing to shift it towards greater acceptance of other people's opinions and unity above differences. And as each of us does that, we quicken this transition of the whole. So we do have work to do, a lot of awareness, consciousness um, to add to our lives, to see where we are out of alignment with love and unity and higher consciousness and to shift ourselves. And the more that we can do this together, the more power it will have the easier it will be because we're constantly influencing each other in this network of thoughts and emotions. And so the more we can create an environment that uplifts the notions of, of mutual care, of mutual guarantee, of mutual um, consideration for the whole, then we will be influenced by that network and it will uplift us. So it's true what they say, together we rise and we do so through conscious awareness of what is happening and what we can do to shift the reality. This is where true freedom lies, the freedom of knowing how you can influence your reality. Doesn't matter how much your external reality is restricted right now, or even without words, you can use your heart, you can use your prayer, you can use your thoughts, you can use your intention to change reality for the better and know that we're all doing this together. And that is what empowers you. So Leave me comments so that I know how you're feeling about this and so that we can reach out to each other to really connect right now, to empower each other, to help each other feel safe and to help each other move forward as pleasantly, as easily as possible through this time. Really happy to be here for you and with you. And if you want to hear more about this, let me know in the comments or email me at choosingtoconnect at gmail.com and I'm, I'll be so happy to hear from you. Of course, subscribe to the channel to know about new videos coming up and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.